Hey everyone, this is David Brown, and I'm here in the cottage of the Derby Hill Bird Observatory recording the nocturnal flight calls of birds. So I thought I would show my setup in case anyone is interested. Let me first take you outside to show you the microphone that I'm using. This is an old bird 21C microphone, which is built into a bucket. You can see it's got a pair of pantyhose. It's just a cover to keep leaf litter out. And the actual microphone is inside. But the basic idea is that it's built into a bucket. So it's picking up the sound from straight up in the air and hopefully rejecting sound from the side, since we're only interested in the calls of birds flying over. The cable that comes out of the microphone is just a standard microphone cable, and then it plugs into a, uh, an extension cable that is fairly long. I don't know the exact length, maybe 100 feet or more. So it's plenty to run it inside of the house. And you can see there's even plenty of spare if I had to run it longer. That runs into this black box here. You can see the extension cable plugs into another XLR jack, which goes into the black box. And this is a box that comes with this microphone. And there's two things that come out. One is a power cable that you just plug into the wall. And the other is the audio out. So this is just your standard small audio cable, which you can run to an audio interface. Here we have an NFC here, some kind of some kind of sparrow it looks like. So I'm running mine into a Focusrite Scarlet 2i2. You can see I'm just putting it into the first input and then I'm running it via USB cable into my MacBook Pro. And the software that I'm running on the MacBook is Audacity, which is free software. And the nice thing about it is you can view the spectrogram in real time. Now the way I'm listening to it is I have a Bluetooth speaker that I just have connected to my laptop. And so I can run this the whole night. Um, the one thing that I can't do is have my laptop plugged into power. For some reason, if I do that, I get a hum. So I have to unplug my laptop, but since it's a new laptop, it's got a good battery that can last the whole night. So um, I just let it run overnight and I turn the brightness on the screen down when I do that. But I can listen while it's recording and what I like to actually do is put my cell phone next to the speaker and run Merlin. And Merlin's really good at identifying a lot of the nocturnal flight calls. So that's the setup I'm using to record NFCs this spring. And so far I've been really successful with it, picking up a lot of sparrows and warblers and a lot of marsh birds like bitterns and gallinules. So it's been a lot of fun so far and hopefully we'll get some more calls tonight.